Welcome to episode three, Beginner Highway Riding. This is my second time on the highway. The first time I rode with my partner who kept telling me to accelerate faster. So hopefully I do that in this episode. All right, so I am... (laughs) very cautiously getting onto the on-ramp. It's a nice road with no potholes. That's a pleasant surprise. I'm going awfully slow. And then I pick it up. Time to go. Nobody's coming. I'm in the right lane because it's a slow lane and I don't want to feel pressure to go any faster than I'm comfortable with. If you watched episode two, you know I only recently got to do speeds above 30. So going 50 and a little over 50 consistently is new and just trying to keep my hand on the throttle consistently because I don't have stop signs is also something to get used to. I mentioned in the previous video too that I like a baby steps approach so I'm not trying to introduce too much at one time if it's a highway it's okay it's a highway I'm gonna get comfortable on the highway and then I can work on accelerating to get around slower people or lane changing which is what I should have done here because why is this person so bad at merging I really thought that counter steering on the highway was going to give me more, I guess, butterflies than they do on normal streets, but I guess because you're going higher speeds, the way that the highways are designed is to have more gradual curves. So the counter steering on the highway was actually a lot easier than I expected, a lot easier than just the regular roads that I had been practicing earlier in the year on. Gotta love all the bumps in the road. (laughs) It makes it kind of feel like a poorly designed or aging roller coaster. Maybe like one of those wooden roller coasters that feels like it will fall apart at any time. But it doesn't, that's why it's fun. So this is, I believe it's Long Island. Towards Queens. This highway doesn't allow for big trucks, if I'm remembering correctly. It's nice not having to worry about semi trucks uh, (laughs) barreling down from behind or next to me. But yes, bumpity bum bum bum. The clouds look really cool in my side mirrors. If you noticed, if you've seen any of the other videos, I switched up the helmet mount GoPro so that you do not have to just stare at my handlebars and console. You can sort of see what I'm looking at.
much faster motorcyclist just went by me. No worries. I'll get there. I think it's important if you're newer that you do things that do make you nervous. So when I went on the highway with my partner, I was nervous, but I knew that basically I had a coach who would let me know if I was being a chicken. You know, essentially, if I'm going too slow, he's going to let me know and not let me get away with it. And then going by myself, I was, of course, nervous because it's my first time on the highway with cars that are going much faster and speeds that could injure me quicker should I happen to wipe out or whatnot. But I think it's good to push yourself within reason. So I knew that I had already ridden this path once. So I was relatively familiar with what to expect. And now it's time to do it by myself. Get comfortable just being on the highway. Ride more times. Try new routes. Be aware of your surroundings. Here I could have gone around the van, but since I didn't want to introduce, like, passing, having to accelerate up to 65 or whatever the speed would have to be to get around it, plus I don't know what's in front of it, I just figured I'll slow down and chill in the lane I'm comfortable chilling in. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Look at everyone passing me. It's alright, I will get faster. And then I will pass them. <laughs> no, I know everyone's passing me, but one, I'm behind a slow van, and two, I'm in the slow lane, so it's expected. Looks kind of silly though, because I'm on a faster sport bike, and I'm just getting basically lapped by regular cars. This is actually a nice ride once I get past all the concrete part of the highway where there's all those like fixed potholes so that it's extra bumpy. It's also kind of a windy day which when you're already on the highway feeling faster winds on you for the first time and then there's like gusts coming from the left and right of you. It makes for a well you can tell I'm very concentrated. I'm focused. I'm not letting anything distract me because I'm on a mission to crush highway riding by myself.
Yeah, it says 35 for construction. I don't think we're slowing down that much, but I do want to safely get onto the asphalt and not be at the edge where it transitions into the old road versus new road. And I also, oh, I am going 35, but I wanted to be careful <laughs> with the construction, you know, rocks and all that. Like I can't just be breaking hard when I need to. If I need to, I should be slower to prepare for that so I don't slip on any gravel or debris. And now the end of the ride pretty much sucks because I did not realize they <laughs> were doing bumper to bumper traffic on this exit because of the construction. The previous time I had been on this, it was, there was construction, but it moved so quick. And this is just, it's just brutal. It's hot. I'm wearing my thick gloves so that I'm protected. Should I happen to fall on the highway? Thankfully I didn't, but I'm roasting. My hands are sweating. Thank you for watching the third one. I hope that highway riding is easy for you, and, but if not, hopefully that this video will help you feel more comfortable with it. Thank you. Like and subscribe if you liked it and want to do so.